I'm so tap tap, and for the second month in a row, there's really not any real news on uh, Abyss, the Abyss Room front, so for those of you excited for Halloween and stuff, I am too, but um, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything happening here. Usually when there's an update, um, they don't even announce it ahead of time, and people just randomly get it on Monday, and they do kind of these slow rollouts that infuriate and confuse everybody. Um, so don't expect any Halloween updates uh, in the immediate time span. I'm thinking... I'm thinking Freshwater just like completely destroyed them and they just, you know, goodness, this this is an intense loading screen. This number one complaint, like regular gameplay wise in the game, I would say, is this dreadfully slow loading screen that just seems to go on forever and seems to have, oh no, there, there it goes. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't expect Halloween anytime soon. I mean, maybe next week, but at this rate, I honestly think... Maybe they'll start next month with Halloween, or like last week of of October. Um, it was pretty late last year, li late in October, and I think I think they just Freshwater was just too big for them, and they just couldn't deal with it. So yeah, no Halloween update so far. Um, outside of Abyssrium, Spooktober is in full swing. We've got a bunch of spooky live streams, so check those out. Um, we just streamed Yumi Nikki, um, an absolute classic and surreal kind of like dreamlike stuff. Um, a little bit less so on the horror. I'm sorry, I'm stirring my, my food here. Um, we played a bunch of Yumi Nikki fan games on Sunday, and so every weekend of the every yeah every weekend of this month at noon my time, um, I'm gonna stream some spooky games, not not stuff like screamers and like loud noises and stuff like that more chill more atmospheric um more maybe surreal or psychedelic more interesting kind of stuff um so next this weekend we're streaming the crooked man and the sandman which are rpg maker horror titles so those should be really cool um those are part of a four-part series um the games sound moderately long like maybe four hours each so i don't have a ton of weekends in october so i'm just gonna do start with two um maybe we could check them out late the rest of them later if they're really good uh last week uh next um next week we are going to be playing dot flow which is fantastic we're gonna be playing Ao oni um and i'm not sure what else um but i if you go to my channel page just youtube.com slash tap tap or just click my channel name on this video. You'll see all the scheduled streams. Um, some of them have the game set as to be announced because I don't know what I'm gonna play yet. But everything is scheduled and you'll find countdowns and you'll find a little button where you can get a reminder. Um, if you wanna watch my streams, one of the best ways to do that is not only subscribe, but you click the little notification bell because YouTube doesn't really notify you. You're not really subscribed until you click the bell. I think that's kind of dumb. I, I think the idea makes sense, but it should be like you're fully subscribed as soon as you hit as soon as you hit subscribe and you should uncheck the bell to get less notifications. I think that makes a lot more sense, but you know, it's YouTube. They make sense about 50% of the time. So, <laughs> yeah. Um Spooktober is going great. I got a bunch of spooky games for um regular let's plays like pre-recorded uploaded stuff. That was a spooky little graphical glitch there, wasn't it? So I've got Toilet in Wonderland, which I promise is better than it sounds. Uh, it's a really weird game and I love it. Um, Soundless Mound, which I just published the first one of today. That, uh, that is really cool. And I'll probably be finding some other stuff. There's a game called Mega Aquarium, which I meant to, or not Mega Aquarium. Oh, what the heck is it called? It's, um, it's this big industrial aquarium simulator. Mega Aquarium, I think is something different. Mega Aquarium is that pop cap game, right? Or no, Insane Aquarium is the PopCap game. I think it is Mega Aquarium. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be checking that out pretty soon. So for, the, for those of you who love fish, uh, another Aquarium game's coming up. It's more like, I think it's like a zoo sim, but like Aquarium. So I've never played something quite like that. So that should be really cool. The uh, Aquarium is always one of my favorite parts in the museum and Animal Crossing. Speaking of Animal Crossing, so excited for Animal Crossing Switch. I know there's no like solid details on it yet, but just definitely going to be streaming that when it comes out. And yeah. Um, other than that, I've been having a pretty good week. I just had a, I just took last week off to relax and stuff. 
Uh, feeling pretty good. Back to work, obviously, you know, there's some stuff piled up, but uh, not too bad. Um, I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier. I've been eating lots of, lots of almonds, sunflower seeds. I, I had to struggle to find almonds and sunflower seeds that weren't completely bathed in salt. Um, I found the store brand where I go. I was the one, I'm also the only things. I got some planters ones, sunflower seeds that might be okay. I haven't tried them yet. But like, I tried these other ones that are like, roasted and salted, and they're like, it's like eating Play-Doh. It's like, oh my god, this is not human consumable. There's so much salt. And I just couldn't deal with that, and uh... Mew! Mew, mew! Hi, Parker. There's, there's your obligatory Parker. I'm excited for tomorrow, because that's when Google announces the Pixel 3. Uh, hopefully it fixes some of the issues of the Pixel 2. I, I really need a new phone, and I, I, I can't really pick favorites, because I'm currently working on a $30 phone. And it's actually a pretty good phone, but it has a butt camera, and I... I need a camera for Parker pictures, so... I think I'm just gonna get a Pixel 3 when it comes out, so... Hopefully there's no major issues or... stuff with that. Uh, that's pretty much the week. Look forward to a lot of... Surreal and interesting games on the channel, which is kind of what I like to do anyway. Uh, hope you join me for all those fun Spooktober streams. And uh, hopefully <laughs> Abyssrium poops out an update at some point in the future. I'm sure they will, just probably <laughs> not in a timely manner. Woo! Anyway, hope everybody has a good day.